Beloved, much in the way that there is an order in which energy manifests, there is a desire, then there is an intention, and then there's allowance, and then there is an acceptance. You must understand that by the time things manifest physically in the body, it has already gone through a sequence, and the desire, which you all seem to forget, is to experience exactly what is being experienced. Instead, you look upon something, and you cast judgments and aspersions upon it, and you say, this is not what I wanted, this is not how this should have been. Or you think that the process that another is going through should be different than it is. If you can allow yourself to see what is occurring is exactly what has been desired, you would stop fighting. You would stop fighting with each other, and you would stop fighting with yourselves. You must understand that each and every moment is to be approached with nothing but love and breath. There was a sequence that was provided yesterday. Breathing applied to any circumstance yields love, yields light. There have been seeds that have been planted in each and every one of you to have a certain series of experiences in your life. There is nothing that is wrong. Do you understand? There is nothing that is occurring out of sequence other than that. There is an aspect of you that says, I do not want this. This person should not be this way. This circumstance should not be happening. There should not be war that is happening in the middle of my trip to the, the Holy Land. How dare they? It is all occurring exactly according to what it is that you desired. What it is that you said you are giving is the menu of what you would like to experience when you come to Earth. I will take one from column A and one from column B, and I really like what's on column C. Can I have 13 of those? Beloveds, we laugh at this because you have merely forgotten. You've forgotten the game of it all. This creature is in distress. This creature in distress wanted to have that experience of incarnating as a cat. The creature in distress is experiencing what it has chosen to experience. Beloved Valerie, your brother is experiencing what he has chosen. You being expelled from the hospital is an experience of what you wanted to have. You wanted to feel your strength and now you have it. Do not look upon anything and say, this must be different than the way that it is. See how much of you can say, yes. See how much of you can allow yourself to embrace all that is in front of you, even when your mind is screaming at you, and saying, this just is another than the way that it should be. Speak to the situation if you have pain in the body. Speak to the pain in the body. It is information. It is a communication that is coming to you. Look at these circumstances of those of you that have been trained. Go to your round tables. Call forth your guidance and say, why is this circumstance happening? What am I meant to learn from it? Sahana Grace recently worked with a friend of hers who had a very painful relationship with her son, and she saw an incarnation where she had killed the son quite brutally, and there was forgiveness, and upon returning home, the son embraced her. He had never done anything like that before. You are the ones that have your hands on the stealing wheel of what occurs. If you want to understand why you have acted or reacted the way that you have, go to your records and the information is sitting there. This is what you will do. This is how you will be. This is what you're meant to learn. Learn the lessons and they will not need to repeat. It is that simple. Wash, rinse, repeat, as you love to say. Is this landing for each of you? This may not be what you want to hear, but you did ask. Now, actually, I feel like I knew all that you just wanted to confirm. Thank you. Whatever we can do to bring peace and solace to your hearts. Your hearts are beautiful. Everything that you are doing, everything that you're doing is being done with love. Every single thing that each one of you are doing is being done with love. I want you to consider this. Everything that everyone is doing is being done with love. Now, is murder done with love? Yes. Is there love that is embedded within fear? Yes. For fear is where the breath has stopped. When you bring breath and warmth 
even ice begins to melt. Icebergs begin to melt. There are places inside of you that have been hardened with fear. Bring your breath to it. Bring your love to it and watch it melt. Get yourself to find pieces of rose quartz. Feel the love that I imbued into them. Allow it to penetrate and permeate you. Find one and keep it in your pocket. Wear it upon your body. Sleep with it under your pillows. Allow your hearts to open to receive love and you will not feel diminished when you give love. It becomes a flow like a figure eight. It comes in and it goes with the breath. You breathe in love, you breathe out love. God's love, it's not my love. It's God's love. You are God's love. You are God's breath. We love you and we shall speak with you again.